Well, welcome back Tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. I released a video yesterday from Open Test for World of Tanks Blitz and I just had to make this video to clarify a few things because a lot of people were thinking that was a preview for Update 5.1 and it really wasn't. Wargaming was trying to do an open test on NA and EU to see what reworked lower tech lower tier tech tree would be like how reworked and rebalanced tanks would play like and they wanted to gather a lot of feedback from the streamers from the contributors from the players on open test I did ask you for feedback um, in the video yesterday um, it is available on the channel obviously there's a link in the description below and if you've missed any videos of me lately do hit that subscribe button down below and you will never miss an update again um, but yeah this the video I'm doing here today I just I thought I just had to make it just to clarify that the video I posted yesterday was not a preview of what you will get in a 5.1 there will be changes wargaming intend to make the game easier for new players and yeah, today's video is about my thoughts and suggestions on what they should do. Um, so I'll flick through all my suggestions one by one. Please bear with me. Um, give me feedback in the comments below. I pass it on to Wargaming again. But yeah, I think I have a, I have a fairly good idea of what I would do in the game. So uh, here goes. And first of all, making the tech tree simply changing it. I can understand where it's coming from. I mean. Less options, it will make it a lot easy, easier to overview the tech tree to understand what all the tanks are about. In game, you will face more similar tanks, so you will know quicker about all the strengths and weaknesses, how to defeat them, how to play them, how to drive those tanks. But it will also make the game a lot more boring because you will face less tanks, but you will also have less tanks to choose from. And yeah, if you are on the line you don't like, you'd you have to start all over again with a new nation or you will have to just sit it out up to tier 4 or maybe even 5 um, yeah that's that's not that's not what I would like to do as a new player really um, second the tanks will still stay in the game as premium and or enriched ones that means that veteran players will have them new players will see one at quite a nice price think alright this is uh, just uh, just a few hundred gold, I have that in the stash, I'll buy it. And they will buy them and they then will face these players with a lot of crew skills. So that won't help new players unless Wargaming will do something about the matchmaking. I'll get to that later. First on the reworking of the tech trees again. Wargaming are going to remove a lot of iconic tanks if the tech tree will be like it was yesterday. Removing the FT-70 for example. That was the first mass produced tank, modern tank with a turret. Why remove it? It's such an icon. Really, just leave it there. And the biggest problem they will have in just just changing the tiers and thinking, all right, it's going to help new players. It won't help new players. Just look at that Hatzer at Himmelsdorf just now. Look at this uh, Platooners, which is on my team. It's a tier three, a D two, coupled to a Hatzer. And it, I mean, a field two can mean that. Players are really, they, they really know what they are doing. They are trying to ace a tank, so a tier 3 gets in a tier 5 game, um, and then it will uh, will get a lot more XP. But you will see in the end of the video, this was not a seasoned player, uh, player platoon, really. What Wargaming could do, I think, and I'm, I have no idea where it's possible, but I think it would be good to have people who say less than 100 battles or 500 or 1000 or whatever to not meet seasoned players. I have 25k plus battles on this account, I have a press account, I have accounts on NA and on Asia as well. And this little boy was driving around in his D2 and I'm going to watch, uh, uh, going to show you in the end. This was his ninth battle really. I mean, dude, why? He should not face tier 5 and of course he's fill tuning but maybe Wargaming should remove that as well. Or they should make two separate queues for season players and uh, new players. Of course you will have seal clubbers who will find it very funny to buy a new tank and just club seal. But that's happening now as well. And from time to time tier 7 feels like seal clubbing to me because there are players who just haven't got round to the maps. 
Wargaming should do more tutorials, make small videos. Well, once you've bought a new tank, you can just now click click through, and you will see. Oh, I have a new tank received. This should could should they could make a small pop-up screen. They could uh, add a description in 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 the list of stats because there's now it says characteristics, which is bloody useless. I mean, the firepower just means. Uh, the size of the shell. It says nothing about effectiveness. You can have a really big derpy shell, but if it doesn't penetrate, it will do, it will do nothing. It will just bounce and you will get annoyed by it. So, yeah, why not change that? Uh, saying, for example, this one I'm driving here, the Sherman 5. Uh, very good tank with a first gun. It has a low rate of fire, of a uh, fast rate of fire, low alpha damage. Play it as a hull down tank on ridges because you have good gun depression, etc., etc. You can make a small description for the statistics pages. You make you can make a longer description for when people get a new tank and have that screen stay there for like 10 seconds. You can even give them a little bit of gold if they watch a video um, on how to play a tank. If they buy a heavy. Give them a small video on side scraping, make it a 30 second video, make it a 1 minute video. Um, if they watch 5 minute videos, give them a little bit more of gold. Not huge amounts, but make it available for players and even for players who have like 15k uh, battles. It's always refreshing to watch videos. I've been watching videos from uh, World of Tanks PC on armor penetration, on spotting, on blocking damage. And I love them. And there wasn't loads of new things in it, but I love to have a refreshed look at mechanics in the game. So, yeah, reward players, um, if they achieve something, if they watch a video, they can make a Blitz Academy. Tutorial videos on the YouTube channels for Blitz are fairly old, or some of them are nearly four years old. Um, they could make small map guides, show players where good positions for are for certain types of tanks, so they move around the map a bit more and then not just stay in one spot, but show them, well, this position A is good for mediums, but B and C and D are very good for uh, mediums as well. If you have a light tank, you should really go to this position, because this is a good spotting position. Do stuff like that. And last but not least, I think it would be a good idea if new players would at first play a lot with uh, bots maybe, and not face all new players straight away, but have them play a game against bots and then for the first 10 games they have all bots or 5 games or whatever. And after that they will face less bots and more humans and, uh, and so on and so on. Because I'm flicking through the statistics now and uh, let's take a look at this one at the D2. Um, he has 12 battles here, it was his ninth one, that one on Desert Sands. Um, but yeah, he, he's not he's not ready at all to go into a tier 5 battle, let alone a tier 4. I'm not showing the stats to name and shame. I just pity him at the moment. I mean, his average damage is it's one penetrating shot per battle. He's been killed 10 times in 12 battles. He has a decent win rate in, in the D2, but what, that was not due to him. And even his companion in, in, in the Hatsa. Not not brilliant. He's been doing a good job. He, he's tried uh, two lines. You can see he got stuck a bit much at, uh, at, at the Panzerjäger one, but he persevered. He bought the Marder, then bought a the Hatsa, but 51% in the Hatsa. Yeah, it has good armor for its tier. And I do, do respect him for buying an FCM Pack 40, which is a, a really Turkish tank. But yeah, that, that's. I'm not showing these stats to name and shame and to show uh, people, right, you, are, you really suck. I mean, I have 25k plus battles, I should not face people with 12, I think. Because I'm far more experienced at the game, I know, I, I know the maps, um, I know what to do when I get flanked. The KV-1 on Desert Sands, he didn't even pay attention to me at the back. That Leopard, he knew I was there, but he drove straight back at me and only turned his turret. Those are really basic skills you, you should learn. And I think that could be implemented in the tutorial as well. Um, drive around, turn your tank and a turret at the same time, in the same direction, and well, only if you can do that, then you are fit to move on to the battlefield. So Wargaming should really start working on tutorial videos on how to teach players uh, to play the game. Players should really learn how to play, that's often sad to, uh, to noobs or new players and newbies, but if you are never taught how to play, then how can you learn to play? That's what Wargaming should do. They should really take players by the hand and introduce them step by step into the game so that it becomes enjoyable and stays enjoyable for everybody. New players, veteran players, high win rate players, casual players, 
everybody really. Thank you very much for watching. These are my suggestions on the future of Blitz, on what Wargaming should do. Again, leave uh, any comments below, any feedback below. Please keep it constructive. That will um, help a lot more than just being salty and uh, screaming and yelling at Wargaming. So, again, thank you very much. I say cheers and happy tanking as per always. And I catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.